Okay, welcome everybody. We're gonna look at the feeder cattle futures for January 2022. The price today closed at 157 and 3 eighths or 0.375. We're talking about November 12th, 2021 is the date, which is Friday, which is this candlestick right here. Now we can see that this 50 day moving average has been acting as resistance for the uh, feeder cattle futures and it just keeps bumping right up against it and keeps getting rejected. So, so far it is holding up, but keep in mind also that this 50 day moving average is moving downward. So prices look like they're gonna to continue to go down. This is a daily chart we're looking at. You can see these indicators here pointing down. This one's kind of messed up because of, let's see if we can get this to be a little bit more in. Well, eh, let's see. That's a little better. There we go. So very peaky back here on this day. It's been traveling. The price has been declining ever since. Pushing right up against this 50-day moving average. And we can see that the indicators have rolled over here. This one especially has rolled over. Big Daddy pointing down. And the MACD, which is a long-term indicator, starting to show some weakness here. Beginning to touch. Okay. Now let me get a let me back out here a little bit and look at these cycles. Yeah. So for those that don't know what cycles are, these are cycles right here. It's an element of time. And normally where we see a cycle, two cycles come together like right here, we would see prices come down. So we can see prices came down. Here prices came down a little bit early, flat it and then took off. Looks like a a cotton to switch over to a contract. When was that? Back in August, which is a very, very, um, as a time of year, I should say, where the prices tend to be the highest is, is late August. So you can see as we came into this cycle over here, sure enough, prices came down all the way into the cycle low. Now this cycle is kind of interesting. Prices came down a little bit early right here, but this could be a cycle that's running long and that will happen. So we'll keep an eye on to see where this cycle low is, but it looks like just because of seasonal pricing, which tends to come in during the, this time of year is putting pressure on the feeder cattle futures pricing. Just taking a look here. So the next cycle low would be December 16th, which is way over here. Okay. Yeah, this continues to look weak. I think we're going to get, we're at 157 and 3 eighths. Yeah. I think we're going to continue to head guys and gals, unfortunately, down towards this 155 price. But for now, we'll, and we'll look at the hourly here in a little bit. Let me switch over to the monthly and see what's going on here on the monthly. A little bit of a price stall. A little bit of a price stall. We'll see whether or not the 50 month moving average holds up. Looking like it wants to come down. This is a pretty weak candlestick right there. We're not quite halfway through this month, so there's still some time to go, but I see prices stalling, maybe even declining, even on the monthly, long-term monthly, as we go through November, January, February, kind of this time of year, tends, prices tend to stall or decline a little bit. Let's look at the weekly that still looks strong weekly still moving up we got daily coming down monthly looks like it's stalling but weekly says we're still moving up long term on the weekly this long term indicator though is pointing down short term hmm maybe this just kind of holds its holds the line above the 50 week moving average which would be somewhere right in there See if I can draw a better line. Maybe it'll just track above this for a while. Let's see what was last week. Yeah, last week closed at 159.6. The week before, though, was 155. So some some back and forth going on here. Yeah. Okay, let's switch over to the, over to to the weekly here. I'm sorry, to the hourly. 
Yeah, big big price decline broke through. I think that's today. Yeah, today at 8 a.m. this morning, guys and gals, just be mindful. It looks like the hourly chart broke through the 50 hour. So from all the way back, let's see, when did it go above? It was 12 noon last Tuesday when it broke above the 50 hour, came up, had really good support there, came down and just been touched right here on 9 a.m. That would be November 10th. That was Wednesday, just this past Wednesday. Came down and touched the 50 hour been, was riding it all all along until we got to this Friday morning this morning and then broke below it really strong so now we're going to see whether or not this 50 hour moving average does it begin to climb and roll down a little bit and does this start to become resistance you know something like that and then it keeps banging into it on the way down might see if we're going to see if we get something like this okay may not decline this fast the way I have it drawn here but we're going to see whether or not this begins to act as resistance on the hour, hourly. If it does, that'll be a telling sign for further price decline on the longer time frames, like the daily, the weekly, and the, hour, and, the, and the monthly, okay? So that'll be a big tell there. Right now, short term, real short term, yeah, this, this is just looking weak. We might see a small little bounce because this, on the hourly indicators, they're, they're pretty far depressed, or I should say suppressed. And maybe, they're maybe they are depressed, but they're certainly suppressed. And we shall see whether or not we get a little bit further price decline going into Monday uh, at, at the opening bell for the uh, feeder and live cattle futures, but specifically for the feeder cattle. We're going to see whether or not this dips down a little bit more. Though from, from here, I would expect at some point maybe a little bounce. So we might get a little bounce, come back up, touch that 50 which, if I had to just give it a guess, would put us in like, you know, maybe high 158s. It might come back up there. That was 158.5, yeah. It might come back up and get kind of close to that 158 and a half area. And then we'll see whether or not it breaks through strong and there's just, just a temporary little dip. You know, kind of like what you saw back here. You know, we just had about a two-day dip below. Okay, or are we going to get something like this where it just crashes into it, crashes into it? This was thinly traded back here because obviously the January contracts weren't being traded much, but now they're being heavily traded. Listen, guys and gals, in front of you is a splash screen, $5.95 a month. It's a really good deal. I've had a lot of people sign up to the premium membership. A lot of the traders have already made a full year's worth of their money back on one trade. I mean, $5.95 is a steal, guys. I mean, you're going to make that back tenfold on one trade. I've had a lot of people already comment about trades that they've made and the videos I put out help. It's going to be one or two videos a month, probably more, about opportunities that I think will do well. It's paper trade only. I don't give financial advice. What you do with it is your own business. But I've had a lot of people already say that they use those videos to make decisions for their own personal style and their own personal trading. Okay, I don't give them financial advice. They go do their own thing. But they've already made like six months or a year's worth of, of, um, of premium subscriptions easily and way more. Okay, so take advantage of that price while you can because a lot of people already are, okay? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to click that little bell so you get notified of all the videos until next time, okay? Okay, cattle ranchers, feedlots, whoever else is watching these videos, welcome aboard. Come back to watch them more. And everybody else, for speculators, well, these videos are for you too. And traders, talk to you all real soon again next time.